Hello and welcome back to a new Minecraft Let's Play. We have something special planned today. And I will show you that in great detail, well, now. Um, yeah, as you can see, we have some mods installed. And see it over there, there are some fancy uh, Sakura trees. And yeah, we can see which block we're looking at. Which is completely amazing. There are some oars, some sheep, um, some roundish trees, as you can see. So things are a little bit different, and I am completely excited for that. In order to play this, I have reinstalled Minecraft 1.0. 7.10 so a really old version of the game let's get started and grab some things while i'll uh, talk a little bit so yeah um the game runs with a couple of mods um i forgot to check how many it's over 40 that uh uh, is something I know. Um, I try to remember, but I'm really not sure. And right now, it is not important. Um, so, we have to do quite some uh, things, like the normal things you do when starting out in Minecraft, which is getting the basic resources like wood, stone, a little bit of coal, a little bit of iron, standard stuff. So, um, yeah, how, how uh, did it happen that I decided to play a modded Minecraft instead of the one point uh, 17 uh, let's play I started last video um, that is is really simple to be honest um, I just realized the reason why I haven't done a lot of the things in Minecraft uh, um, uh, that uh, are left undone is that I really really um, not interested in doing them, to be completely honest. That's basically just the reason I never build a guardian farm or uh, out of my way. Eh. Now I have to restart chopping the tree down. Thank you very much. So yeah, so um, I did continue playing that uh, sci-fi, but the more I played, the more I realized um, that I don't enjoy playing there. It's mainly because I don't have any interest of um, doing these things just to have them done. Um, so in order to make doing these things interesting to me, I would have to basically just, yeah, I build them because I need the resources. And yeah, so I thought, okay, let's start a project where I am interested in building things. And therefore I decided to make, uh, to do a little bit more of a building world instead of a world where I just do the things. Um, and the reason how I ended up with um, a modded version of 1.7.10 was it's really funny uh, to be honest. I listened to some 
uh, music I used to listen to when I was in school. So that's been a long time uh, since I've heard those songs. And uh, I then remember that there's a, a mod pack I used to play back in the day when 1.7.10 was, yeah, basically one of the newest versions out there. And that was Life in the Woods, if some of you remember that mod pack. And I spent the last couple of days trying to get um, Life in the Woods to work. But whatever I did, I, it did not work. I was not able to get it to work. And so I did basically what uh, was uh, left for me to do. Okay, there's a small lag when I try to open the inventory. That's weird. That has something to do with the mods, but hey, that's how things go sometimes. No, um, so the only thing left for me to do was to basically recreate the mod pack the way I, yeah, kind of remember it. Um, because I honestly have no idea how to make mods work if they are not compatible to one another. Um, so this is really, really basic, which means I down, I installed Forge, I downloaded um, the mods I wanted to have in this little mod pack. And if something did not work, I basically decided which one to keep and which one not to use, to put it uh, as simple as I can. So yeah, it's not that I'm able to uh, write uh, config files that uh, work out um, issues mods uh, have with one another, I'm simply not able to do that. And so I did the best I could and ended up with something I'm really, really excited about. And I know this introduction to the series is almost going on for 10 minutes now, but it is important to me to get this across. And yeah. If you want to play with the same mods, I will. Oops, game froze. I hope it's not crashing. Okay, uh, I'm pretty sure it has to do with uh, creating new chunks. Uh, da, 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 da. Let's chop the frame rate render distance down to 10, which is also good and yeah so there are a, a few things to uh, tweak here and there probably along the way because uh, I basically have no idea whether or not this works probably uh, uh, since as I said I have no idea uh, about how to create um, Mud packs. Oh, I left my workbench. I was not smart, but I have to uh, set up camp before a monster spawns because I really have. Oh, yeah, right. Oh God, this was back then when uh, uh, beds were just red. I was way before beds had co uh, colors. Um, oh my God. So uh, yeah, 
there are probably going to be a couple of uh, flashback situations uh, along the way while playing this mod pack. Um, we have the luxury of having a lot of different types of wood in this uh, playthrough. As you can see, there are a lot of different trees. There are, um, I believe, two. Hey. Uh, two mod packs that add um, additional biomes, and then there's one that adds just trees. To the world um, so it's going to be a lot to discover and to use and I try my best to already get my hands on as many saplings as I can so I just have the option to set up um, all the different wood types along the way because that is incredibly important to me and I'm also collecting these gardens because they are filled with uh, different crops and plants that we can set up and harvest and give our builds and our world a nice additional uh, feel to it. Um, okay, that's eight. Stop running away. I need the meat. So another thing is um, so this is going to give us quite some food. Whoop. So um, there are there should be um, mods that add animals to the world, um, some hidden structures that can be discovered. Um, Come on, don't run away. Don't run away. And uh, yeah, there are a lot of things I look forward to. Uh, that's Bruce, okay. Maple, um, okay. Ooh. Well, prickly lettuce. Okay, I was just surprised for a moment why I uh, <laughs> was damaged. So, yeah, there are some insanely big trees um, in the game, which is interesting and fascinating. Let's pick up the sugar cane because we're going to need that. Um, one thing we actually don't have to look uh, out for uh, are villages because um, 1710 was way before villages were reworked so um, yeah uh, villages are not really useful, uh, to put it simple. Um, so the next thing I'm going to do now is I'm going to spend some time finding a nice place to stay. But then again, this looks not too bad. I mean, there are plenty of cows we could use as 
um, uh, uh, hurting animal. Oh, actually, I don't know whether or not I can pick that up with a wooden shovel. So, um, yeah. Another thing I probably have to do is I have to just walk around for a while to get the things generated where we uh, decide to set up uh, our base because that will definitely reduce the lag. And we got some coal. I'll grab some fancy yellowish uh, cobblestone. And that is already perfect. So, um, yeah, I guess this first episode is definitely just going to be. Yeah, let's make it uncut. Let's make it just one uncut episode before we jump uh, back to. Uh, yeah, let's say the clip-based episodes um, that are going to be more like the last video, but in this uh, play world. So let's just record for, I don't know, 25-ish minutes in total. So like we still have 10 minutes left. Maybe that's enough to find a nice place. Um, at least I hope so, because I really want to get started. But uh, in order to do that, I need a place to stay and I need some grinding time to get some resources uh, done before starting uh, a journey. So let's grab these four and then let's get out of here. Bloop, bloop, bloop. Let's leave this one here. Not going to need that one. Whoop. And that's a stone shovel. And this gives us our first little pieces of iron. Uh, eight in, to uh, in total. So let's also create a little backpack. So yeah, we can save up some space in our inventory. Um, and this is also one thing I really love about this mod pack. Um, okay, we don't need that. It's definitely the um, backpacks. I mean, I'm going to limit myself Probably not to use too many. Um, so, yeah. Um, to summarize the backpacks, they're basically just like uh, uh, sh uh, shulker boxes or, um, yeah, even a little bit bigger. Some of them, so you can craft big backpacks and they are like a double chest. So you can really go ham on these and you can color them, which absolutely allows you to be a little bit more structured in your inventory space. So. 
can only sleep at night. Yeah, it's almost night. Let me sleep. Come on. Let me sleep. So terrorizing the bed. Go on the other side because if there's one thing for sure, the grass is always greener on the other side, as you can see. So, um, it's actually really nice color for uh, for build. It's maybe a little bit too much. Looks like there's a swamp over there. God, this doesn't show anything compared to what we're used to. It's 45 mods, 45 mods. See, I was able to figure it out. <laughs> okay, there's a swamp over there. Don't really want to build there. Um, I like the fact that we're uh, on looks like uh, we're bordering an ocean that is always great if you're uh, trying to build a city or something like that oh gold or uh, let's find out whether or not we will get there nope won't get it because of course uh, we need an uh, iron shovel for that. Whoops, Well, it's not deep, but it uh, jumped me a little bit. It's an Enderman. The pumpkins. Oh yeah, that, that also something that has changed over time. I just have to eat a little bit more. Let's shove all these strawberries in. Ooh. Oh, I hate these guys. These guys are going to be annoying if we build in a place where they can naturally spawn because they can trample uh, your crop fields. So if you build in a meadow, for example, they won't spawn. Honestly, I'm not sure whether I want to build the... I mean, it's... It's not that... You know what? We are not going to think too much about this. We are going to make this meadow our home. And... We will... Tr uh, we will... Uh... Yeah, grow from there. I mean, this ravine looks great with a, a plague stone there. So yeah, we will live in this meadow because this basically means we have a lot of cows. Uh, we know where sheep spawn, like there. Um, we can get pigs, there's a beehive. Um, Though I don't know how uh, they work in this version of the game. So... Yeah, th there's a lot I have uh, to learn. Because there are plenty of things regarding mods and stuff like that. That I have absolutely no idea how the stuff is going to work. Which is extremely exciting. So, uh, I really look forward to this. 
And for now, I will stick with that. That's interesting wood. It's blue with some marks. Ooh, blue wood. That could be interesting to build with. And it looks like... Yeah. So we have a ton of cows. That's what I wanted to say, but then again I was fascinated by all the stuff around me. Um, I am really someone who loves the landscape that uh, Minecraft has to offer. Um, oh, this is just great. Um, It's also an interesting color for the ground and for the grass, but it's not necessarily my cup of tea. So we're going to stay in this meadow and I think it's big enough to set a couple of things up. And we don't have to stay here forever. That's the amazing thing. Uh, when it comes down to playing. Uh, Minecraft, uh, nothing is set in stone, but I really love this green here, so we'll set up our starter house somewhere around here, and I just grabbed a lot of strawberries, because until our food supply is secured, strawberries are probably going to be uh, yeah, our main choice of nutrition, and I think we will start building uh, something here because I really like, I kind of like this view with the ocean and uh trees over there. It's not really a swamp. I wonder what what biome it is. I have to check. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm so curious. Oh yeah. Uh, modern modern swimming was not a part of Minecraft yet. Swampland, okay. It is a swamp. But it's nice. It's a nice swamp. So. Let's go back to our meadow. And yeah. Let's move some grass out of the way to mark this as our territory. So this is going to be our bed, our crafting table. Let's build some chests and a furnace. And another one. Let's see if we get if we will get ingots or little parts from it. Oh, we really get iron ingots. Wow, that is great. This is a nice boost. Um, uh, OK, 
okay we can set stuff i have to uh find out whether or not i can remove this because i don't intend of using that so it annoys me that it's here because uh, i want to play the game without uh yeah changing things um oh my god we have so many things to see and build with um oh my god so yeah i really have to stop um <laughs> um yeah i'm totally totally uh hyped playing and wow uh eating these strawberries is definitely not going to interrupt uh the view but yeah i just love how this looks and i'm not entirely sure how uh things will look when we start building oh the stars are coming out this is really nice so yeah for this episode it's time to say bye bye um i hope you are as excited to play this uh, to watch this series as i am to play it um looking forward to see where things will go and what we can do with all the mods uh i added um thank you so much for watching we will see you in the next video and yeah don't forget to brush your teeth. <laughs>